Getting rid of Bing in Windows Search. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Getting rid of Bing has been one of the more controversial and I'll just say popular topics on Ask Leo. Microsoft tries very hard to promote its Bing search engine through various means. It's the default search engine in Microsoft Edge browser. Um, it's the recommended search engine just about everywhere else. And in a couple of places, it's the only search engine. Microsoft will actually bypass any configuration that you happen to have set for a search engine and still use Bing in a couple of places. Windows Search is one of those places. What I want to do in this video is show you exactly what that means and how to turn it off. Let's have a look at Windows 10. So this is my Windows 10 home machine. It does not have any changes made to it other than the fact that Chrome is the default browser. If I start searching for something like say coffee, You'll notice a couple of things. One is that there are search results here on the right hand side and those search results include advertisements. So if I scroll down, I'll get various things about coffee. Basically what's happened here is this has done a search using Bing and provided those results in this window. Some people consider that a feature. Other people consider that an intrusive use of a search engine that they would prefer not to use. They consider it to be Bing in your face. Now, if we do just say hit coffee and hit enter, you'll notice two things. Even though Chrome is my search engine, Edge has been used. And of course, it's giving you results in Bing. So how do we get rid of this? Well, this one requires a registry edit. The very first thing you want to do before you make a change to the registry is back it up. I'm not a fan of System Restore, except in this one case where you can use it to back up the registry. The easiest way to do that is to create a restore point. And the easiest way to do that is just start typing system restore and ironically let Windows Search give you the option to create a restore point. Click on that as soon as it becomes visible. Currently, this is bringing up the old style of a user interface control panel. If you have System Restore turned off, you'll need to turn it back on again. That's done with the Configure button, and I'll leave that to you to do. Most systems have System Restore on by default. All you really need to do here is click the Create button and give it a description. In my case, what I'm going to say is, before removing Bing from System Search, we'll hit Create. System Restore does its thing and Boom, we've got a restore point. Now, if anything happens while we're playing with the registry, we can restore that restore point and basically undo any damage we might have done. Now, editing the registry. I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways. The first way is manually. I'm typing Windows key plus R to bring up the run box and entering in reg edit, the registry editor. That requires administrative access. So we have to say yes to UAC and up pops registry editor. Now it may look a little different for you. It depends on what it looked like last time it was used and maybe some things will be expanded. That's okay. Where we're going and we're going to expand each of these in turn by clicking on the little greater than sign to the left of the items that I mentioned. We'll start with H key current user. Then we'll go to software, policies, Microsoft, Windows. Now, since in this case, there is no sub key called Explorer, we need to create one. I'll right click on Windows and say new key. 
that key will be Explorer. Now we need to create a value. We'll right click on Explorer. This time we'll say new D word 32 bit value. The name of this value is disable search box suggestions. And I'll make sure that that's in the notes with this video so that you can copy paste it. But that does need to be typed exactly as you see it. We do need to set the value to be something other than zero. So I'll double click on the newly created disable search box suggestions and change the value data to one. That's actually it. What we do now is reboot. We come back to Windows, log in once again. And this time, when we start typing C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, there's no search results. There's nothing, as a matter of fact. That's what this setting does. It doesn't necessarily remove Bing as the search provider here. It simply removes web search from the Windows search bar. If you want to do a web search, then you fire up your browser, go to your search engine and type in what you want. It removes Bing and any web searching from the Windows search option, which honestly is not that bad of a thing because when you're searching in Windows, typically you're searching in Windows. As we used at the beginning of this exercise, we used it to find a setting within the Settings app. We might use it to find a file on the system. But if we're looking for something out on the internet, use your browser and you won't get distracted with Bing in the Windows search search results anymore. Now, I did promise you two different ways to do this. The approach that I've shown you so far has you making the change manually, step-by-step step in Registry Editor. The alternative approach requires that you trust me because I'm going to give you a file that is the registry setting you need. So I'm gonna go ahead here and find that file on this machine. I happen to have copied it over to um, a folder in my OneDrive and you can see that I have the file here on my machine. This is disable search box suggestions .reg .reg. And in fact, if we open this file with Notepad, you can confirm that in fact it contains what it claims to contain. What it contains is the information about which registry key is supposed to be set, which value is supposed to be set, and what it's supposed to be set to. You can always look at .reg files in this manner. They are nothing more than text files. If we double click on it, we're firing up the registry editor. There is a warning, of course, that what you're about to do is enter some information into the registry and you need to be careful about doing that from unknown or untrusted sources. In my case, let's assume that we trust me. The settings that we did manually have now been added to the registry automatically with just a couple of clicks. So that's the other approach. I will make this file available in the notes to this video or in the companion article for this video so that you don't have to carefully type in that name. You can simply download and double click on the file yourself to enter this information into the registry. But that's what it boils down to. You're actually removing the search the web capability from the Windows search function, which as I said, is probably okay, especially if Bing annoys the heck out of you. Now, I do have to throw out one final caveat here, and that's this. This is a registry setting, and in fact, it's a registry setting that recently changed. 
it's very possible that this could change again in the future. It's extremely unlikely that doing this will break anything, but it is more likely that perhaps someday in the future making this change will not have the desired effect. But until then, this is one more step to getting rid of Bing. For links related to this article, for the original article, for the link to the .reg file, for updates, for comments, and more, visit askleo.com slash 126808. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.